Hello, welcome to this new sew along. We are going to sew a beautiful dress. This video is a collaboration with Chris from Sonots. Stay tuned until the final of the video. This video is a collaboration with Chris from Sonots. We choose a beautiful dress from the supplement 322. We are going to sew the same dress and you can take a look of the two different outputs. Take a look of her video. I will leave the link on the comments below. If you want to know more about the Lutalow system, please visit our website uh, lutalow.ca and subscribe to the channel to receive the notification of our new videos. So let's get started. Trace this dress, we are going to use the Lutalow system, the golden rule. So we have other videos with the little law system here you have the instructions and the symbol page in here and 280 different styles in the supplement 332 and the pattern and the style is the 23 this beautiful dress for this pattern only the front and the back part we have the uh, waistline and the little pocket i love it the pocket so uh, you have it also in a blouse version i love this blouse i think it's like japanese style we are going to cut twice the front twice the back well in the fold of the fabric the back and four times and we have the bottom here you and on the supplement you can find the symbol also you can find it in the main kit beautiful linen maybe this one can be a great dress i have a rayon here or maybe a viscose i don't know these fabrics i bought them in mexico when i was there so if you travel uh, take a look of the beautiful fabrics on the local stores so this one is is beautiful maybe it's soft it's a twill cotton i love it could be great too it's a cotton this one also a cotton a little embroidered could be just just beautiful too for a spring or for summer these fabrics and the denim a soft light denim i think i going to use this one i want uh, something in denim since a while i think it's going to be the perfect one for this project I can use a photocopy to make my envelope so you keep your patterns inside you take your notes here so i'm going to check if all my numbers are inside let me check quickly you need bust measurement for all the pattern from the weights up and his hip measurement for the lower part here we have only two dots so I use a little cardboard underneath this is a special cardboard uh, the bust measurement is 114 for me so you look your measure on the scale you go to the center cross and you mark all the dots so i'm going to start on the little scale the little line you have 16 and you, you go to 16 to mark 16. now i have 34 so here we have 34 and you are going to follow all the lines with the numbers so here it says 33 and a half so you go to 33 and a half and mark a dot and you continue marking all the dots so in no time at all you have a beautiful pattern to your measure here is 20 eight 29 and a half 28 
28 and a half and 29. As you know, in the Lutolo system, you use two measurement. So you change to one way across with my hip measurement and 86. I have here the front. Remember to join three dots to make to have a beautiful line better than straight straight line. the little indications in here we have the center front one and a half all along will be my center front for the bottoms and bottom holes you can mark with this your bottoms and bottom holes so maybe something like this for example straight of the grain the a means front this little b going to be joined with the b on the back part here we have a dotted line that the pattern marks kind of facing for the bottom down but i notice it's not marked as facing as usual so i decide to add four centimeters to the bottom part already on my pattern so this will be fold the same thing for the back part and i'm going to make the the pocket and the collar my back i'm going to check the perfect shoulder here the b going to be sewn on the side full of the fabric hip measurement 108 to the center pocket so it's the front of the pocket and we make the same thing seven always the dot on the side of the pin so we have 14 and a half and 19 20 and a half and 19 again if you have already one pocket from another dress you can use it it's going to be inside the, the dress but you have it already here cross is another dot strange And you have here your pocket you need to put it put it in parallel to our side the a mean in here color in here all the numbers going to be put it in the center cross so i have 18 here and 21 so you mark all the dots on the lines following the lines so you align and the number here 20 you look on the scale so take a look of the main video the webinar to learn how to make your patterns only with two measurements so here is 25 33 30 so you mark all your dots one and a half so you mark all your dots and you join them. So look for the three dots. So mostly parallelly, we are going to use the same curve. And in here, yeah. Maybe this one going to be something more curved. So take a look at this. So it's going to be more soft so here is straight and i don't know why this number is like so it's 31 and a half in here mostly done in here 
is uh, facing to all the symbols. You have it in the symbol page. Neckline here, I have my center, my center front, the center in here. I'm going to put uh, my waistband. Okay. I leave it short because it's too long for me. Here I am using the sew allowance guide that you can find on the website. Two fronts. Uh, we have two uh, collars uh, on the fold of the fabric. Uh, we have for time the pocket back part on the fold of the fabric. So I'm going to sew the sides. You remember the point B? So this is my armhole. I'm going to sew the sides. I saw the uh, shoulders, I put interfacing uh, four and a half centimeters in the sides in the upper uh, top, in, on the top and on the side. I'm going to leave open here. So I cut it at, at the half one of the fabrics and to turn it uh, in the other side, we are going to cut the corner. And so we can turn our uh, collar. And here to join the collar to my body, I'm going to mark the centers to match them and to join my collar centered. So I'm going to sew in this part. Now I'm going to I make a little finishing with the overlock so I'm going to give a good press and sew it by hand. I try it on and mark my pocket. I'm going to mark my waist too to put a little, little strip in here for the waist. Line here and give a side. I saw a line in here to flat it in like one quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put this one like this. So we are going to make a beautiful sew in, on the side. Uh, one quarter of an inch in here. Two lines. And I'm going to sew twice to make a double line. You can make it with a, a twin needle. This, so you can see, I make a one line with a stitch and the other line a simple stitch. So here I start with my pocket and in the other side, I love it, it's clean. I'm going to make some lines with the gray color of the thread. So I'm going to make a little line in here and I'm going to make all around the collar and I'm going to make also in here two finishing in here the second line because I was sewn the interfection in the first part, but maybe you can sew it in the second part. Will be better for sew the bottoms and the bottom holes, but in my case, I'm going to put a little uh, tape to for hems to stabilize the top fabric and I make the finishings so I'm going to make a little roll twice to make it. so now it's ready to put the buttons and button holes to finish if you like this tutorial like it and share it in your social media
subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. Thank you to be with us.